Every day our body encounters a large number of antigens, but not all of them can cause diseases, thanks to our immune system. The immune system is the army of our body which consists of many cells and proteins to fight off the disease-causing microorganisms. And this ability of our body to fight against the disease-causing organisms is called as immunity. Hello everyone and welcome to Science E Solution. Today in my video tutorial, I will be talking about how COVID-19 affects our immune system. But before that, let us have an understanding of our immune system. Immunity in our body are of two types, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Innate immunity is the type of immunity which is present from birth onwards. It is the first line of defense against the antigens. It is general and non-specific. And it has many components like physical barriers, defense mechanisms and general immune responses. Physical barriers means, for example, our skin acts as the best physical barrier. Any antigen to enter our body, it has to cross through the skin. Body hairs, the gastrointestinal tract, respiratory tract are also some of the examples of the physical barriers. The second one is the defense mechanisms like tears in our eyes, saliva in our mouth and acid in our stomach. It also helps to destroy many antigens. And the third one is the general immune responses in that it is the inflammatory response like the site of the infection. At the site of the infection, all the immune cells come and they rush the blood over there and causes inflammation. They are the general immune responses. There are also some cells which have the innate immunity. They are, the first one is the phagocyte. The phagocyte means eating cells. They eat up the bacteria, viruses, fungi to help the host. The second one is the macrophages. They are also eating cells. They also eat up various antigens and also secret chemicals called as cytokines against these antigens. The third one is the mast cells. The mast cells, they secret histamine and do the inflammatory responses. The fourth one is the neutrophils. The neutrophils are basically the first one to reach the site of infection because they are abundant in number in our blood and they are also phagocytic in nature. The next one are eosinophils and basophils. They both act by secreting the toxic proteins against the antigens to destroy them. Next one is the natural killer cells. These natural killer cells, they do not secret anything. They do not engulf the cell. Instead, they kill our body's own cell which have become cancerous or the infected cells so that this infection do not spread to the other cells of the body. And the last one are the dendritic cells. They can sense the threat to the immune system and send messages to the further immune system to secret their own immune system cells. So it acts as the bridge between innate immunity and acquired immunity. The second type of immunity is the acquired immunity. It is acquired by previous encounters with the antigens. They, these, are, these have two types of components like the B cells and the T cells. These cells, they are formed in the bone marrow. And the cells which are formed in the bone marrow as well as mature in the bone marrow, they are called as the B cells. Whereas the cells which are formed in the bone marrow but matured in the thymus, they are called as the T cells. Now, how do these B cells work? These B cells, whenever any antigen is encountered with the B cell, then what happens? These B cells, they get activated. They get activated, they multiply and they form the plasma cells. That means they will act as the plasma cells to secret antibodies in the blood. These antibodies will help to destroy the antigens. You have also heard about the plasma cell therapy for COVID-19 treatment. In this treatment, the patient who has already recovered from COVID-19, in his blood or in her blood, there are more amount of these antibodies secreted by the plasma cells. And these antibodies, when they are infused into the another patient, which is now in the critical condition, he can recover from this disease. So these clinical trials are done in UK, US, also in India. The second components of the required immunity are the T cells. The T cells, they are of different types. They can also help to combat the antigen antibody reaction. Now the first type is cytotoxic T cells. These cells, they also kill the cells which are infected by the outside antigen so that the spread of the disease can be stopped. The second are the helper T cells. These helper T cells do not secret by them anything, but they stimulate the B cells, these B cells to secret the antibodies and they also stimulate the cytotoxic T cells for their work. The third one is the regulatory T cells. These regulatory T cells, after this whole antigen antibody reaction is over, 
they help to suppress the immune response which is needed to return to other normal condition the next one is the natural killer t cells these cells again destroy the infected cells to stop the spread of the diseases the last one is the memory t cells these memory cells make the acquired immunity a very unique type of immunity because these memory cells they are stored in our body and once again if they are encountered with the same antigen with which they have encountered earlier they give immune response which is much quicker and more vigorous now how does this acquired immunity comes into play in case of covid-19 so when a healthy person gets infected with the coronavirus or the sars-cov-2 first that means they have already crossed through the innate immune system or the physical barriers of our body they come to this part now this part of our immunity comes into play the first one is the b cells they get activated produce plasma cells which produce antibodies to do this antigen antibody reaction then the t cells this t cells help they reach to the site of infection they proliferate vigorously they also secrete many cytokines to combat against this virus here the cytotoxic t cell will suppress or the cytotoxic t cell will kill our own cell to uh, stop the further spread the helper t cells will stimulate b cells to secrete antibodies it will also help cytotoxic t cells then uh, natural killer t cells will also kill our own body cells so that the disease does not uh, the virus does not spread further memory t cells will be there if the second time it encounters there will be a great immune response and the, at last these regulatory t cells they will suppress the whole reaction you see when the virus attacks our body has inflammatory response of the cell they give problem in breathing temperature rises all these are our own immune system which make it difficult for us to live but once we have passed through these stages and we have lived through that stage then the regulatory t cell will suppress all the immune reactions and return our body to the normal one and the memory t cells they will get stored and if further interaction will come they will come into play and the next time it cannot cause such complicated problems and the last type of immunity is the herd immunity or population immunity this is not the immunity of a single person it is the immunity of a whole population as we know that this sars cov 2 has attacked the whole population in the world so this immunity will come into play as a whole in the herd immunity it is the indirect protection from infectious disease that occurs when a large population has become immune to an infection either through vaccination or by previous infection and they will protect the person who are not immune for the disease that means take for example if 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 persons have become immune to the sars cov 2 then what will happen if the virus attack them either they will give a slow reaction or they will stop the chain of transmission this virus is spread from one person to another from that person to another that that person to another now if four out of five person they have become immune to the sars cov 2 what will happen they will stop this transmission and it will not be spread further to other people who are not immune to the disease this is the concept of herd immunity it is also called as population immunity if you have liked this video in immunity please hit the like button share and subscribe thank you for watching